Well, hi and welcome. Today we're in Chesterfield County, Virginia. We're at the Extension Office here. We're here with Nancy. Nancy's a master gardener here. Nancy, this is an incredible garden. So many things. You've got vegetables, flowers, all kinds of things. But you've also got lots of different structures. Yes. Now, we're standing one, next to one right now. Tell me about this. It's kind of an odd looking, almost looks like the shape of a greenhouse, but it's not really a greenhouse, is it? No, it is okay. not. Um, what this is, is this going to provide a trellis. This is a temporary structure. It's not permanent in the garden. Okay. So when the time is right, um, we get this set up with some T-bars, and this is a cattle panel that you can get from um, any um, uh, agricultural supply, Farm supply store. store. Yeah, yeah, that type of thing. And what it will do is um, eventually there will be any kind of trellising vegetable will grow here. Squash, cucumbers, okay. um, beans, anything like right that. It grows on both sides and comes up at me, and it makes the most gorgeous shady tunnel oh. that it makes it easy to harvest because you're not bending over. You are uh, you're removing the um, vegetables from above. Sure. It also provides a beautiful shade for any crop that might really appreciate a little shade in the heat of July. Yeah, I see some lettuce, some romaine things, which is more of a cool season crop, but would, would love some Absolutely. Shade. It's about 10 degrees cooler under here than it is out in, in one of the other beds. So this is a great structure um, to have. And again, it's temporary, so um, you take it down when you no longer need it. Sure, relatively easy to build. I think so, yes. Yeah. Nancy, this is, uh, you've got cut flowers growing here, right? Mm -hmm, yes. And I know some of them get kind of tall. You can already see them. Yes. And so you got to keep them from falling over. Exactly. So what have you got here? Well, so what we've done is we've put up a, a two-tiered netting system, and this is just to give these tall cut flower plantings something to kind of hold them upright mm -hmm. so they don't, particularly when it rains or something and the wind, they don't, they don't come down. We have, we have this tier that catches some of our lower lying ones, and of course we've got some um, larkspur there that has really uh, taken off. Um, we've got some sunflowers down there that will definitely need some support as time goes by. But it's, it's really very nice because as they come up, we don't have any worry about them flopping over and we can just reach in to, um, to create our bouquets. Pretty simply made, some more of these, these posts in the ground mm -hmm. and then this netting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A little bit of this to hold it straight and yeah. this so you don't poke your eye. Nancy, I saw this structure from a distance. It's pretty cool. Tell me what it is. Well, it's just a really pretty, I think, raised bed. Yeah. Um, I like it because it's got a nice height. You know, you don't have to bend over very much. Um, it actually is a kit, and it came with these um, these supports, these hoops here, sure. and it had about it has about three or four different um, types of covers. It's got uh, a, this netting that is really nice. It keeps pests out but lets sun in. It also has a frost cloth okay. that you could put on it for uh, when for gardening into the winter. And then it also has um, a cover that would completely block out all light. But it's nice, right now we've got herbs planted in it. Okay. Um, but you could see that you could really plant any kind of vegetable that didn't exceed uh, the height. Sure. Um, but I think the really, besides just being attractive, I just think it's at a great height for a raised bed. I agree. Easy to work. You can work it from both sides easily. Yes. Uh huh. And it, you know, it would go. It would look lovely on a patio somewhere for somebody who wanted to just grow even their own basil and um, parsley. Ah, uh, great. Well, thank you, Nancy, for letting us see all the different structures you've got out here. They really uh, make a difference in a home gardener's life. Well, thanks. We like it, and we think it's something special. So I appreciate your interest. Well, for more information about gardening structures, contact your local county extension office and talk to a master gardener. For From the Ground Up, I'm Chris Mullins. We'll see you next time. From the Ground Up is presented with the generous advice and assistance of Virginia Cooperative Extension. Visit their website at ext.vt.edu.